I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. through there, Clem. I know. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. I, I get the feeling I should probably Don't tell her about Krista there. and Omid. Do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe.
I think we taught her that from our first encounter with her dead babysitter. I did it. I got him. <laughs> Was that it? Did I, did I actually win? Cause I don't feel like I won. I feel like uh, I feel like I just I feel like I'm at a loss of words. That was horrible. I mean, it it it. The, 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 I didn't kill the stranger. I was I was tempted to. I, I I got the feeling that I could probably strangle him to death, but Clementine kind of killed him. I, okay, I was in the percentage that made sure he didn't turn. I I didn't want Lee to turn. I mean, 
It was so tough, though. Oh, I, I calmly argued with Kenny. I, I tried to be calm about that. I didn't want to fight with Kenny too much. <laughs> I did remove the arm. Man, a lot of people did. I, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought a lot of people would have kept it. I don't think it would have mattered anyways. I, I just thought that, like, at that point, Lee's infected. It wouldn't matter if I took it off or left it on. Like, he's still going to turn regardless. I, I don't really know if it would have slowed anything down. I was just figuring, like, taking off his arm wouldn't be practical at all. It would just be a hassle trying to have him, like, double around with one arm. One usable arm, I might add. And give up the weapons? I did surrender my weapons. I was trying to be civil about it. That it turns out that her captor was just crazy all around insane. Oh man. That was that was tough. Oh man. So he didn't have to. Oh Kenny You found water for duck when he needed it. That was the saddest thing. Poor Kajit. I did trust him with the axe. I thought he was going to try to kill me. I did try to revive him. I heard that actually if you move fast enough with trying to give him CPR, you can actually revive Larry for a second. Then Kenny still smashes him in the head. Elflame told me that one. Yeah, he died at the meat locker. Let's see. You called her crazy when supplies went missing. Yeah, she was she was getting a little paranoid. I don't know if that really qualifies as crazy, but uh, paranoia definitely. She stole the RV, man. I loved you. I loved L Lily. I loved her, and she betrayed me. All I had left was uh, Kenny. And I guess Ben dies regardless. I did push Omid off the bridge. I'm surprised he never was upset with me about that. He never held a grudge or a vendetta. He was just, like, happy-go-lucky. You were separated after you crossed the sign. Yeah. I can only hope that Clementine finds him and Krista, and they'll raise her together. And they'll be, like, one big happy family. They seem like they're really good people. I, I, I actually trust Clementine in their care. Especially Krista. Krista seems like she's the uh, type of person that will make sure that uh, Clementine never gets hurt. But anyways, what else do we got? Oh, more stats. Ben. You defend Ben when he was accused of stealing. I did defend him, but he turned out to be the guy that pretty much screwed up everything. You stood up for Ben and Crawford. I did. Ben fell to his death. In, oh yeah, he did that. He was kind of messed up. You asked Ben to help you find Clementine, and he did. He actually kind of—he actually was kind of. I'm surprised he stood up to Kenny. He was actually—he grew some balls, some cojones. Ben actually kind of turned things around. He kind of redeemed himself a little bit in Chapter Five. I think that's what alpha has been talking to me a lot about, like things in Walking Dead, but trying not to spoil anything. Also. Carly, I did let her die. I, I I don't know. I wanted to save Doug. Doug was awesome. Carly was just... I don't know how to fix a radio! How do you put the batteries in? How, this thing runs on batteries? Oh, whatever. And then Krista, you helped her get onto the train. I did. I left Omid for dead, but somehow he still made it on. I did reveal my bite to her. You asked her and Omid to take care of Clementine. Well, I think they're capable of, so, you know, everything that applied to Omid applies to Krista, but more so because I feel she's super competent and cautious. And Doug, oh man, I miss Doug. I miss him. Uh, you saved his life at the cost of another. I did. I s forget Carly. She can go get eaten by those sexually repressed zombies anytime walkers whatever and he got shot that was the saddest thing next to lee getting bit and then slowly losing his consciousness through chapter five and eventually on the verge of turning 
And then, of course, Doc. You helped save his life at Herschel's farm. You let him be your sidekick in solving a mystery. That was actually pretty entertaining. I liked that. It was just a nice mix up from all the seriousness. And then I did shoot him. That was so sad. Chapter 3 was probably one of the saddest chapters. Let's continue. Oh, is that credits? Oh, I can't believe it. I, I, I really can't believe it. This, oh, this, I, I'm kind of sad, I gotta be honest, it's been a good day, I even finished The Walking Dead, things got done, I, I'm not upset at all, just Lee, Lee, Lee grew on me, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one, Lee, Lee's an awesome guy, I, I, I'm just sad he died. I mean, I know there was no other way. As soon as he got bitten at the end of Chapter 4, you knew he, nothing good was going to happen at the end of Chapter 5. But regardless, I guess I guess that's all good and said. So, what is next? Because I might as well talk about future plans as the credits roll. Well, I do plan to do 400 days... And I guess that would inquire that I'm speculating on doing the second season, because there is a sequel to this game currently being produced and released. The, as far as I know, the first chapter is released. I don't know if they release any other chapters. I think it's just the first one. The second one's being created right now. It's being produced. I'm not really sure. Um... I'll be honest, I really don't know if I'm going to do the second season. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it up to you viewers. If you actually enjoyed me playing The Walking Dead, you thought that I did a pretty decent job, or at least semi-decent enough to actually do the sequel, you know, season two, I will totally do season two. If I get enough people who want me to do it, I will do season two. I I'm just going to leave it to that. If I get... I don't know, just... Leave a comment, PM me, whatever. Just, just let me know you want me to do it, and I will. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm just not gonna do it. I'll do 400 days, but that, that's about it. Ugh, this, ugh, I'm just so, I, uh, I'm so s sad, but happy. I mean, it, uh, I, I liked it. I gotta be honest, it's very bittersweet, but it's the right type of bittersweet that I can't imagine them doing a better job with the, how Chapter 5 ended. Bittersweet, but nonetheless excellently triggered, in my opinion. I'm going back to Resident Evil 4. At least, I don't know, it's not nearly as bittersweet, but still, Lee. The way I feel right now is the exact way that, uh, and was it Andy? No, it was the other guy. I can't remember his name. So she didn't end up finding Omid and Krista. Or at least that's what I'm inferring. Maybe she did and they were like looking for supplies or something. I don't know. 
Either way, um... Next time on The Walking Dead, 400 days. I don't think it's gonna matter if I, uh... Have save issues, because it's its own separate thing. Alright. Later, viewers. I I'm still sad. Lee. Lee. Lee's gone. Uh...